Hello everyone, Argon Matrix here, welcoming you to this bonus episode of Diddy Kong Racing. We're back with everyone's favorite little turtle, Tip Top, and we're gonna do a few things in this episode. Um, <laughs> man, it feels weird to be doing this again, but it feels awesome too, because I love this game so much. Alright, what we're gonna be doing here is, uh, we're gonna tackle the trophy race of Future Funland. Which is more, more or less just a formality kind of thing, just to say I did it, because... It's not necessary, it's just kind of interesting to show off, because it is a harder race. And at the very end of this video, I'm actually going to be also showing off one last thing, which will be the Whiz Pig race, the first one, with green boosts attached, because, as many of you know, that was one of the biggest ordeals ever in this LP. And I just want to show you how easy it actually is with the green boost, and how anticlimactic it would have been if I'd used them in the original video. But for now, well, you can just skip to the end if you want to see that, really. But for now, we're just going to do this. And I forgot the name of this course already, even though I just said it. I'm so bad. Alright. Oh, man. I have not played this game in quite some time, so pardon me if I suck a lot more than I normally do here. I do remember that in Trophy Races, one of your primary goals is getting these bananas. Because once you get up to 10, then you hit your maximum speed. Oh, don't hit the trees. That's no good. Banjo, get out of here. Get your fat ass out of town. Oh, I re remember this shortcut. Yeah, even though I haven't played it in a while, I've played this game so much in my past that I remember basically everything that I need to know about this game. Oh my god, this music is crazy. Man, it reminds me of something, this music. I don't know, it reminds me of something, but I just can't quite put my finger on it. I don't know. It feels like this is some kind of music that eventually, like, you're just sitting in class and you're just doing, it's really boring and you can, like, hear the ticking of the clock. Like that standard, like, monotonous boredom shot of a classroom. And all of a sudden this comes on on, like, the announcement thing on the speakers. And then everyone just gets, gets up on their desks and starts dancing. That's what, it, that's what it reminds me of, I don't know. I always thought that would be cool if that actually could happen in real life, but... No. Man, this is easy. <laughs> of course, I say that now. This is probably the like the, this first race is probably the easiest one. Can't wait for Spaceport Alpha in this trophy race. That's gonna be a blast. Cause that is probably the hardest course in the future Funland, in my humble opinion. Uh, so if all goes well, this should go up on January fifteenth. As just sort of a special video to break up the pace. Oh man, why is my furnace on? I swear, every time I- my furnace must be like sentient or something because every time I go to record, my furnace just turns on and then all of a sudden I have to like maintain a constant strain of commentary, like more constant than I normally would. Because in the background, the furnace causes this like sound and it's really annoying, it's just this white noise. So I have to just keep talking, otherwise you guys are going to hear that. And it's really obvious, too, if I, like, cut it out to, like, cause just, like, reduce the white noise in those silent spots. It's e it's obvious, because you can just totally tell. Because it is such a dramatic change in the tone of everything. So there's just no, there's really no good way to go about it. Alright. Yeah, Jen, something I didn't really make clear with these trophy races before, because I was kind of out of it when I was doing the other ones, since I had a co-commentator for that. A very awesome co-commentator. Mm. Yeah, something I didn't really mention is that for the first lap or so of any race, it's fine if you don't maintain first. What's more important really is to try and uh, get bananas to get your maximum speed up as high as possible. And then the other two laps is when you really want to focus on uh, getting back up into first. Because I'm in eighth net right now and I'm not, I'm not overly worried. I mean, it would be nice if I was a little bit further up, sure, but... Man, look at this clusterfuck here. <laughs> it's every, everyone's just so clustered together. Timber! No, get out! Oh, man, I missed. Oh, I missed. Touch. He's trying to lay a mine in front of my ass. In front of my face, I mean. Oh. Jeez. The two people in front of me are the two, like, most annoying characters in the game. Timber and, uh, Michael... Uh, D Diddy Kong. My bad. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, oh, man. 
I do remember that, though, that stupid laser that almost never hits you even if you drive right through it. Alright, I'm at 8 bananas. I should be just fine. Don't really need to go out of the way. Yeah, anywhere between 8 and 10 bananas is probably where you want to be. It's entirely possible to win these trophy races with, like, 0 bananas, too. It's just a lot more difficult. Oh, jeez, I got the triple red balloon power-up. How often do you see you get a triple balloon power-up, especially in one of these trophy races? Oh, well. Uh, wait, who passed me? Who passed me? What? Alright, I passed them back, so that's okay. It's all good. I'm just a little bit terrified because I'm going to miss the zippers. What? No, conquer. Where did conquer come from all of a sudden? Uh, you're supposed to suck at these trophy races. But I'm not going to lie, these trophy races are pretty challenging. I'm not, I'm not exactly sure how much faster everyone is in these trophy races. All the, like, computer characters. But, uh, it feels like they're about twice as fast. Something like that. And there you go. Err, uh, so next is Star City, right? Oh yeah, I remember, that was Darkman Caverns. Because I always remember the way TT says that. Star City. Oh, that's another thing I'm going to have to show off in a bonus episode. I'll probably do that maybe soon. Show off a... Well, I kind of just spoiled it there. <laughs> Never mind. Mm. Oh, man, I love this course. I love the music here, too. Too bad I can't hear it because <laughs> my stupid furnace. God, I hate that thing. I mean, sure, it keeps me warm and cozy while I'm recording, but that's what I have a sweater on for, so... Alright. Oh, I gotta remember all these sharp turns. Gotta love it, man. Uh, dude! Someone hit me with a, like, a regular missile. That's no fun. I mean, it's fun to hit people with regular missiles, sure, but it's not fun to get hit by them. Alright. Eight bananas? Let's just go for it now. <laughs> Look at this! Everyone's clustered in this tiny little area. Wow, that's kind of crazy. Oh, dude, they, and now they're blocking me. That's the worst thing about being behind, is that you have to actually, like, work, over, work around people. Mm. Alright. Oh, yes! Just bolted into the first with that one balloon. Sweet! Oh, Pipsy. Jeez. Uh, one thing I think I should have done in this uh, LP is actually use other characters other than Tip Top. Because, like, I don't know, that's kind of the point of an LP is you're showing off the game and as much of the game as you can. And unless I actually show off those characters and how they, like, handle, then I'm not really doing that, am I? But I remember saying before that I did try to do a recording with a different character. I think I was trying to use, like, Bumper or something. And I just could not get into it because, like, it, it didn't feel like Diddy Kong Racing anymore. Because I've played with Tipped Up so much now that it only feels like I'm like I'm playing Diddy Kong Racing if I'm using Tipped Up, which is a little bit unfortunate. But don't, no, dude, Diddy Kong, <laughs> he's gonna beat me now. This asshole is gonna beat me. You ass hat. You ass. Ah, oh, that's fine. Damn it. That's annoying. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, second, in that little text, little smaller font, so much smaller than the first place text. Alright, what how am I standing? Uh I think I should be fine to win, even if I get like second or third place here. Spaceport Alpha. Spaceport Alpha. Oh god. No. This place is fun, but it's it's hard as nails. Especially in the trophy race. Oh by the way, for anyone wondering, this trophy race doesn't actually do anything. It doesn't like unlock anything in the game itself. It's just a more or less a completion sort of thing. So, yeah. Unlike the other trophy races, because you actually need to do those in order to even get to this final world here. No, I'm not letting you guys pass me. Not today. Oh, jeez, what did I just do? What? <laughs> I think I did a barrel roll. That was kind of funny. Mm. I'm always so scared, because I'm, like, constantly tapping that R button to do the sharp turns. But then I, like, get all nervous when people start to pass me, and I'm like, oh crap, and I start to, like, freakishly tap that R button, and it starts to me doing, like, barrel rolls and somersaults and what have you. Is that Diddy Kong way up ahead? That is. Even this stupid monkey ass. Crazy monkey games. Oh, he hit the wall! <laughs> and I caught up with him. 
Now we're like neck and neck here. It's a little bit crazy. Dude, he's right there. Come on, just pass. No, oh, shoot. Oh, ba Banjo, was that you that shot me with the stupid thing? I hate you, Banjo. I really do. Nah, Banjo's cool. I mean, I'm going to be LPing his game someday, so I should probably think he's cool, shouldn't I? Oh, there goes my furnace. Now I can actually hear the uh, victorious music that's happening in this place. Alright, should be able to cut this corner a little bit and catch up here. Man, why is he so much faster than me? I have eight bananas! Didn't I have nine a second ago? Maybe I got hit and I didn't even realize it. Ooh, well, now I have nine, so that's all good. Can I get ten? Sweet. That's Oh, I have eleven now. Where did that come from? I must have picked up a banana and I wasn't even looking. Er, how long is this is this video going to be? It's looking like 11 minutes right now. Gee, I thought it was going to take longer. I thought it was going to take a bit like 20 minutes for a trophy race, but apparently I was off about that because we just won. Did someone pass me right at the end there? <laughs> like literally the sec, like the millisecond after I won? That's what it looked like. Someone just darted past me. Oh man, we just annihilated everyone in this, didn't we? Yay! Always oh, piggy when you're no pupils. And now we're gonna go have to race that whiz pig. Ooh. Oh, can't wait, can't wait. Because it's not gonna be like before when I spent literally like several eight hour recording sessions trying to get a good take of him. Now we're actually just gonna be able to conquer his ass with our green boosts. It's gonna be the first time that you see me intentionally using green boosts in the entire game. Damn, but I was hoping you'd say Alakazoo, because I still love that. That's still the funniest thing. It makes me giggle like a little girl every time I hear that. <laughs> Alakazoo. Oh my goodness. Alright. And into Whispig's mouth this time. No! Oh god. God, I still just feel so small every time I see this scene. Yeah, we'll see about that, you porky freak. What did Porky do? Oh, well, Porky's about to get rocked. You'll see this right here. Especially with Tip Top. Tip Top's one of the better characters for, for like, these boosts. Because it seems to vary between characters how good of a boost you can get. Alright. Still like to use the kicking, the kicking strategy for a little bit uh, at the start here. And then... Oh, that's not a green boost. Oh, well. <laughs> yeah, you don't even have to be really that cautious of, like, these green boosts this time. Crap! You know, I'm going to still try to salvage this. <laughs> I bet I can do it. Uh, probably not. I'm going to give it a go still. Good lord. He, he just bolted ahead. This is crazy, man. I'm crazy. Do I really think I can catch up here? Probably not. But you never know. Miracles can happen. Stranger things have happened. What can I say? I think it's pretty hopeless, though. I don't know, I might just be cutting this whole thing out. Because who really needs to see this? Me losing with green boost because of that one stupid thing. That's the one thing you ha do have to worry about with green boost, though. Is that, uh... Is that, like, you? it's harder to control yourself just because you have so much damn speed. So just be wary of that. But other than that, these things are just so broken in the great, in the grand scheme of things. Well, I've made reasonable progress to catching up down here, but I still don't think I can, like, win. By the way, for those who don't know, uh, these green boosts, to do them, you just have to let go of the accelerator a slight, like, a, just a little bit before you actually hit the zipper. You can see, like, I'm slowing down a tiny bit there before I hit the zipper. Alright, yeah. I caught up more than I thought I would, but still not enough. Jeez! Well, what would it be? What would this whiz pig, whiz pig attempt be if I didn't lose at least once, right? Even with the damn green boosts. Alright, let's give her another go. Take another crack at the whip. I heard an awesome metal remix of this song earlier, to, earlier like a few days ago or something. Of the whiz pig race song. Of course, it was kind of surreal because, like, uh... As a great man once said, you cannot remix human misery, so. Alright, holy crap. Alright, I'm doing good here. I'm good. 
Of course I'm looking good. I'm using green boost. What was what's with me missing that very first like green boost on the first zipper? I did that in both of my attempts now so far. Oh no, he passed me. Too bad. Err, uh, well look at that. Yeah, see that's something you'd never be able to do with just the purple boost. Is pass him after he's passed you. Like on the final stretch of that lap there. If you pull off these green boosts like just right and pull them all off perfectly in perfect sync with each other, then it actually is uh, entirely possible to beat this guy by about half a lap. And I think if you lose, use a certain character, which we have to unlock still, that's going to be the next bonus episode, then it's almost it's almost possible to lap Wiz Pig. I'm not entirely sure of it. Someone should make a video about that to test it. Can you use that character and green boost to lap Wiz Pig? Oh, I'd love to see that fat fuck get lapped. Mm. God, I hate Wiz Pig. Wiz Pig is just the embodiment of all hatred towards anything in video games. For me, anyways. <laughs> Alright, look how much we beat him by this time. Yeah! We beat him by about, about as much as we lost by in the first attempt. See just how broken that is? How just anticlimactic that would have been if I'd done that? Man, this scene is always really surreal to me, too, because, like, the first time I ever saw it, it was just so... I was just not ready for it, because I, mean, I was in complete shell shock. Anyways, uh, there's really no point for it to us sitting through all the credits here again. So, um... I've got two more bonus episodes planned. One of wh one of them is going to show off how to get this, uh... The secret last character. And the other one is going to show off all the codes that you can put in the magic codes that do different things. So, look forward to those. Hopefully I'll get those up by the end of January, at least. But, until then... Or until you watch another video of mine, whichever. There's our hero tip top. And Taj and everyone are all partying. Partying because we just. Because we're. I don't know. I'm crazy. Alright, so thanks everyone for watching this bonus episode. Uh, this has been Argon Matrix, and I'm signing out. Thank you, and good night. <laughs>